what is going on guys welcome back to yet another setup video in this one we're going to be going through the rpc s3 settings yet again so we're going to start off by installing some firmware we need to basically install the newest update or the whatever update you want to be running i recommend using 4.88 but in this one that's what i'm going to be setting it up to so the video is going to be set up into different segments there's a timestamp in the description we're going to be running it 4k as well as 1080p so the video is set up into four different sections like i say we've got 1080p using OpenGL, we got 1080p using Vulkan, we got 4K using OpenGL, and we've got 4K using Vulkan. There's also download links in the description to the version of the emulator, literally exactly how my emulator is with everything in it. There's a download link in the description for that. If anyone's interested, I guarantee that it's safe and virus checked and everything. It's just uploaded onto a G drive. So it'll save all this prerequisite messing around, getting all these different file updates. There's also a link to this website where I've just got the firmware from. It's called TechSpot. It's a safe website. Again, guaranteed there's nothing on there that's going to be infecting your PC. So once we've got the firmware, you install it by going File, Install Firmware. And then we're going to be going through our settings here. So yeah, this is the version that we're going to be using. RPC S3 0.0.18-127. One C four seven two alpha. So I'm also going to leave a download link in the description to the version that I'm using. And then yeah, we're going to be following these settings: CPU, sorry, PPU decoder, recompiler LLVM, SPU decoder, recompiler LLVM. And on additional settings, we're going to put on the SPU cache and enable the SPU loop detection. And the settings on the side, as you can see, we've got SPU block size set to safe. Preferred SPU threads, we're going to set that to auto. You can set that to as many as you want. But yeah, I'm going to put it to safe mode. And the preferred SPU threads, that's basically how much of your CPU you want the program to be using. I'm going to set it to auto. And then, yeah, thread scheduler, which is going to you leave that on operating system. I'm going to apply this. We're going to apply it all at the end when we've done all the settings. I'm also going to show you the difference between playing on OpenGL as well as the difference between playing on Vulkan. So to start with, we're going to leave it on OpenGL. And yeah, just follow these settings basically. Default resolution 1920 by 1080. Resolution scale is set to 150%. Resolution scale threshold is set to 1024 or 31 times 31. Shader mode on async multi-threaded. And the additional settings, we've got stretch to display area and multi-threaded RSX. So yeah, these are the settings that I'm going to be starting off with. To be honest, OpenGL isn't the best to use. Vulkan definitely gives you more frames, and I'm going to show you that in a second. But yeah, like I say, different settings for different people. Sometimes these settings don't work perfectly. And here, guys, by the way, as you can see, I've got this set to X Audio 2. But there is a different a couple of ways because some people were having issues with the lag and the um, audio lag and slow motion and stuff but if you are having that you just need to basically enable time stretching and um, another good idea as well is to maybe turn v-sync on that sometimes helps when it comes to a slowdown as well the minimum requirements for the emulator are definitely going to be in the description below also so you need at least four gigabytes of ram even though eight gig is recommended and i'd say at least a six core processor and gpu obviously you can call it on you should really know if you're powerful enough to run it or not i'm not being like nasty when i say that but you know that if you've got like say below a 780 you're probably not going to be running this but i'm running this on an rtx 2080 and yeah, I'm just going to be showing you basically the difference. So I'm going to load it up. This is us using the OpenGL settings that we've just set up. As you can see, we've got well over 60 frames. So that's all you need really to play smoothly. In this video, guys, as well, I'm also going to be showing how to set up 4K. I'll have a timestamp in the description. So you can look at whichever settings you need to. So the beginning part is going to be um, just the general setup using OpenGL. The second part is 1080p gameplay using Vulkan. See, so yeah, as you can see with OpenGL.
So yeah, I always recommend using Vulcan if you can. If it gives you the option to use Vulcan, I definitely recommend to use that. But yeah, like I was saying, the third part is going to be how to set this up into 4K. So you're going to be able to run smooth gameplay in 4K. As you can see, I'm running well over 80 frames at the moment, which is more than you're ever going to need to run this game. But yeah, now I'm just going to quickly show you the difference between OpenGL and Vulkan. So we're leaving the, leaving the settings exactly the same as they were. All we've changed is gone from OpenGL back into Vulkan mode. And I'm just going to show you the difference because it's a massive difference when it comes to FPS. So yeah, we're running more well over 120 frames, which has doubled the frame limit basically. So we're going to get a lot smoother gameplay. When it goes down to 60, that just means that the intro videos and stuff were shot in 60 frames per second. So obviously they're not going to be playing the intro higher than 60 frames. Obviously you can't connect to the internet. You can, there are ways you can connect to a network, but I wouldn't recommend doing it. It's not the safest. If you've got VPN, then maybe, but I haven't, so I'm not going to risk setting it up. So as you can see, yeah, we're running well over 100. We're running between 100 and 120 frames per second now, which is a massive difference compared to running between 60 and 80. So yeah, we can play like this if we want to. I'm happy playing like this, but I'm just going to end it and I'm just going to show you how to set this up into 4K for the players that are interested. So you can see it's running smoother than it ever needs to. Now we're just going to exit out the game. Go back to configuration, go to the GPU. So you can see it's 38. I think we need to set it to 3840 by 2160. That's as close as it needs to be to 4K. I'm going to bump this up to 61. You probably could put this to max if you wanted to. But I'm going to apply the settings, save the settings. Then I'm going to relaunch the game and I'm just going to show you how smooth it runs in 4K. This is using OpenGL, not Vulkan. So as you can see, we're still getting a good, decent 100 frames per second, which is really nice, really smooth. And you can probably tell that the gameplay has cleared up somewhat, the textures and stuff, a lot higher quality. And yeah, we can play, we can do whatever we want on here. Everything is running the way it should be. There's no slowdown or anything. If anything, it's probably running weirdly better than it was before. So yeah, you can tell sound perfect and everything along with it. So yeah, that's running it in OpenGL mode. You can also enable um, upscaling as well. But for that, I think you need to put it onto Vulkan. So yeah, we're going to try it out now on Vulkan. You can upscale in Vulkan. I just wanted to, again, show you the difference between running it in the two. I have better luck with Vulkan. But I know that some people in the comments on the last video were having better luck with OpenGL, but it all just depends on your PC, to be honest, what you're running. So we're going to launch it yet again. You saw that we were running between 100 and 120 frames using OpenGL in 4K. And now I'm just going to see how we run using Vulkan in 4K. Right, so yeah, I'm going to click through all this. And yeah, about the same, 120 to 130 frames per second, which is nice. But yeah, it's a lot smoother in Vulkan. There's a lot less, less slowdown. Even though it says that I'm running slightly less frames, I guarantee you that when I'm behind the controller, it's a lot smoother to control. I haven't been on skate for such a long time. But yeah, this game looks 
so nice to me in 4k hopefully you enjoyed this one i know the video has been all over the place i did try and keep it somewhat together but yeah make sure to subscribe if you did and i'll catch you in the next setup video or the next gameplay video thank you for watching catch you in the next one